He was here, he wasn't tolerating it very well, so oh, hi, kind of a you. fast talker, and it's not easy to read his lips, so it was really hard for me to understand what he was trying to tell me, and he wasn't too interested in trying to write it down to tell me, so it's really helped our communication and therapy for him to be able to tell me when he feels like his knees are weak, when he's getting too short of breath, when he's tired, um, and just being able to communicate his needs in general. Do you want to tell us how, how speaking about his health to you? How much well? Your has helped you. Why do you like speaking valve? Oh, yeah, they take it out at night. You lose your voice, and it's not, I don't know, it must be all in your head, but I don't like losing my voice. I put it in the morning, I'm happy. How do you find it helpful? How do you find it helpful? Yeah. I can communicate. Or then I, you know, they'd have to read my lips. Right. Because I couldn't put a sentence together. Right. <laughs> now I put this thing in, I can talk. I have no problem. Do people have a hard time understanding you without the help? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it takes a while. Some people are better than others. Some don't. They're just, they go get somebody else. Because they just can't. <laughs> and I don't know. You want to try this? You give up 10 minutes on me. Yep. And I don't know that I got to. Uh, well, I will give it a try. See what you can do. You told me yesterday you didn't have 10 and you did it. In fact, you gave me 15 extra seconds yesterday. Where's the 15? The extra 15 seconds. We only got 10 more minutes to go. Are you going in a nice, comfortable pace that you can keep up for 10 minutes? A nice, comfortable pace. Make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Use that person's breathing. Good job. I'm 
to go count off how far your last walk was. Okay. 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 Um, Larry's diagnosis is West Nile virus, and he's been here at Madonna for about three weeks. Um, before that, he was up at Select in Omaha for a couple of months. And I don't know if he was using the valve very much up there. He had a hard time tolerating it when he first got here. So, um, but he's been using the valve now for at least a couple of weeks, pretty consistently during our therapy sessions. It's been very helpful just to be able to have him communicate with me, tell me when he's getting tired, short of breath. Respiratory is probably the biggest issue for him, the biggest um, side effect of the West Nile virus. The, he's got decreased strength overall, but mostly it's the respiratory part of it. So we work on walking and improving his activity tolerance. Um, also just working on him trying to use a first slip breathing technique while he's doing his therapy because he does have COPD. So he also has that that he's struggling with. So just trying to teach him some of those compensatory techniques during his therapy session too is what we've been working on. And then ambulating? Yep, he's walking with me anywhere from probably 50 to almost 80 feet today was his biggest distance that he's done so far. We get a little bit more every day and we usually do three to four walks in my therapy session. I also do lots of activity tolerance things with him. So he sits on the new step machine and does that. For, he's up to 10 minutes now, and when he started, he could do two before he needed a rest break. So we've just been working on improving all that. You want to drink some? Yeah. Oh, you want to? Yeah. <laughs> Coffee's good. Oh, yeah.